All yeah. right, so what do we have here? So we've got the, uh, the new Creality uh, Ender 3 V3 AE printer, which we got sent by Creality, so thank you. And they've asked us to check it out and, and see our thoughts. And uh, we also got sent some spool by um, 3dprints.co.uk, so that's uh, the Creality PLA. So we'll be using that a little bit later. So um, we've opened the box already, but let's have a look inside. Okay, so we've got a bit of a sheet there. Okay, what have we got? So we've got instruction manual, some parts, okay, power cord. That'll be why we've got the, uh, the okay. power cord. Okay, oh, there's a whole bunch of parts in there. Let's have a look at the manual so we'll see what that says. What have we got there? So that looks like the material rack and filament. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. oh, we could probably just leave it in there for now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what have we got there? Like a little roundy thing. Oh, yeah, it's a filament tube. Cool. Oh, no, that's the handle thingy, I think. Handle, okay. Yeah, filament tube. Yeah, cool. And what's that one there? Like an angle bracket? Oh, that's the display. Th uh, yeah, that's the display screen. Okay. Cool. Okay, great. So yeah, and then we've got the gantry. Okay. And, and, and put that down. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the bottom bit, I think. Oh, it's quite small, eh? Yeah. It's quite neat because we have a big cable here. Yeah, this will be the, the communication cable, I imagine. Yeah, so this is going to slot into there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we have some screws. Right. You can pass that through. Yes, we do. Okay, so do line it up and then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They are different sizes. Oh, yeah, so okay, let's chuck those in and use those. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then we can lift it. Okay. Yeah, but it's kind of like looks quite sturdy, it's nice with the touch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also just like the two main big parts. I thought there'd be way more parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a few more parts, but it's... Everything's numbered, so it seems like it's going to be quite easy to yeah, it's quite good. put all together. I like that the little bags are numbered, because it's always hard to tell which screws are. Mm -hmm. Or which, you know, this is a label. M3 should be slightly smaller than M4s. Okay. Um, let's have a lift this up. So we're putting them in here now. This is that um, other step. So we better attached. So it's okay. It just takes a little bit longer to go around. Oh, twists. Yeah. So you can see this is the bed which moves around. And mm -hmm. This is the print head here. So see the print on here. And the stuff coming out of here. And. Uh, that's what I say, the model gets made. Almost done. Oh, damn, this is so laborious. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Good, great. Nice. All right, so what's the next step? <clears throat> display screen. Okay, so um, can you grab me the display screen? Oh, mm -hmm. please. And. On the side, and we need. Oh, thank you. It's a screen. And we need some M4 times 10 screws. So look. Okay. Might be the big ones, maybe. M5. Oh, yes, then me. M4, that's the yeah. M4. Okay, great. There we go. Okay. Nice. 
nice. Okay, so it is keyed, which is good. We always like a keyed connection. Mm -hmm. There's only one way it can go in. So, alright. This bit goes onto here. We have here M8, no M5. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. And here are spare parts. Yeah, okay. That's so. nice. Yeah. So, so that goes through that, that whole thing. And this just, it's like a slip ring. Just tuck it onto there. Okay, good. So that's the filament. And then, what is this here? Okay, so we need two M5 times eight screws. Um, which should be those. That's the only yeah, one. That's the big one, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, this is to hold the filament, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Holds the spool and then feeds the filament down as it's printing. And I think, having done a little bit of reading about this model, I think it's not usual to have a filament detector sensor on the, on the normal models. Oh. So this thing should, if I understand it correctly, monitor how much you've got left. So it can tell you if you've got enough. Something like that. It's got, like it's got enough mm. to print still, you know, so you don't run out. But I need to check. Smart. Right. Yeah. Mm. It's maybe quite a smart kit. This wire. Oh. I think it just sits. Yeah, that just sits there. I think it just sits like that. Okay. I'm not, I'm not super clear from the manual. I could do like a magnifying glass, maybe. <laughs> or bigger picture. Um, okay, but that looks. Oh yeah, filament detector switch. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So equipment wiring. So we're now on phase three point four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this goes in here. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Perfect. Yeah. Just a little bit of strength. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Just got to bend it a little bit. Cool. Okay. And this one goes over. So I think this one comes down. Clips like a round slot. Open up on the side. Right now, there's nice. a little part somewhere. It's looking good. Yeah. Yeah. There should be a little part somewhere. Do we have more no parts? This will be for holding the. Oh, that's the uh, screw that's at the. where the stuff comes out of them. And put them in the back. And we want to. So, what is this? Um, so I think this is the, the tip where it comes out of the filament, mm -hmm. but I need to, I'm not 100% sure, but okay. I think it is. Right, so what we're doing now is we're just locking this bit in place here so the cable can't move, because obviously this is going to go up and down. Mm -hmm. So cool, we've done that, so we've done that already. Now I need to connect the Z axis motor. Ah, oh, a little cable there, that's why. Mm. <laughs> Alright, that makes more sense. <laughs> I couldn't see it until we moved the... Okay, so that's going to drive it going up and down, and that one there will drive it going backwards and forth. 
And yeah, filament 20 meters. So we've got a little bit of filament there. Okay. And um, that's the nozzle, yeah. That's the nozzle, yeah. So, mm -hmm. And got the cutting pliers. We've used all the other little bits and bobs. Mm -hmm. Here's a USB disc. Have you seen that, anyway? No. no. That's the last day of us. Some stickers! Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> we always love stickers. Okay, so we can't find the USB stick. The filament at 45 degrees and break it off straight. Cut the front of the filament. So, like, so cut it like 45 Four across degrees, the, yeah, the yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So then we run it down through the little detection. Let's have a look at this from the front. Okay, so the feeder goes to the little box and then through the exclusion clamp. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I know why. Mm -hmm. We need to warm up the nozzle. Warm up the nozzle? Yeah. So you need to put it on. Well, the nozzle's on there, so there must be the one on there ready. Um, well, it does say this is a USB port. Alright, we need to have a look for the USB. Um, but I'm sure there should was not USB. Um, it should sit at the start, yeah? The parts included. Yeah, exactly. Well, it does say there's a USB. So. But it says. Oh, it's quite sticky. Okay. Right, so we're going to go English. Okay, hold on. Let me just see. Nice touch screen. And, uh, you know, I've got to sign our life away with the terms and conditions. <laughs> Actually, a little bit annoying. Is there still a. Oh, there is still a screen protector on, that's okay. I thought it had ruined the screen, but it's not. Oh! It's just on the screen protector. Alright, so we're going to scroll through a massive terms and conditions which says they can do whatever they want to us. Um, Obviously, I haven't watched South Park. Uh, okay, so we say, I have read the agreement, sure. Of course, I've read it, and we'll say next step. <laughs> so, while we were away, um, we had a good look for that USB, and we can't find it anywhere in any of the packaging or on the device. So, it looks like we haven't been sent the USB stick as part of the package. So, um, not entirely sure if we were meant to get it or not, but um, step four says to do printing from the USB. So, what's happening now? It's doing a self testing. Okay. That's quite cool. Nice. So, from what I read about this model, uh, it's got a um, feature which is called um, self leveling, okay. which, which apparently is um, it's quite a pain to do it manually, so it should level the bed automatically, which is a big bonus of it. So we'll see how good that is. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> I think we've made a mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have made a mistake. Okay, so oh dear, what was happened? So I think we need to have this go underneath there, rather than on top of there. Oh. Because then it gets stuck like that. Lots of small fiddly pieces. Mm -hmm. So from the from the googling, does it look like we should have a USB, right? Uh huh. Okay. So Creality, that's a that's a, a bit of a shame. We don't get a little USB stick with your the model of your Creality guy in it. Um, I'll still try to find one online, maybe, but um, obviously you can't print that straight away now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that again. Mm
Okay. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. <laughs> I think from what I read online, it should go around and test, like, the heights of the plate in a whole bunch of places. And then it knows, like, how flat the, the bed is, mm -hmm. so that it can print really well. It will go through nicely. And then the next step will be to, to do a little test print. So. We can't do the little um, dude there. The little dude, the reality dude. But maybe we can find a model online and and, and do something like that. Um, so actually, the page, the, the instructions are only really one, yeah, like four pages really, and then it's on different languages. So the mm -hmm. whole book is mostly other languages. Uh huh. So it's quite simple instructions, I guess, and. Let's be doing this thing. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try to find the thing in the meantime. Yeah. So, so. Um, what does it say here? It says it checks nozzle heating, yeah, so hot heating, nozzle heat cleaning, and... automatics offset. Yeah. Okay. So if we just. Um... I need to find the USB. Yeah. That's <laughs>